Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Sarah Brianne. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. And when you do, make sure that you turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video from moi. Okay, so today we did these chunky, juicy, knotless braids. All right, but we got a little peekaboo of color in there. Did a little bit of, can y'all even see them? Did a little bit of brown highlights throughout. So if you're intrigued to see exactly how I achieved this style, doing the brick method with the parts. As you can see, and then keep on watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So to achieve the black braids with brown highlights, I'm going to use 1B and 30 for the colors of my hair products. I love Lotta Body and Shining Jam, and I'm also going to show y'all some tools in a second. Everything is linked on my Amazon storefront. Can we get into my hair? Because ever since I did my big chop, my hair has been flourishing. It's so thick, it's so full, so this is your sign to cut off your dead ends if you have any. So I love the red tail comb and the clips. They help with parting. Speaking of parting, I'm standing in between two mirrors. That's the only way I can get my parts right and tight, okay? And today we are doing jumbo knotless braids. So I'm also going to be doing some jumbo parts. This is how I like to use my clips. This helps me keep all of the flyaways out of the way. In terms of getting my part super crisp, I just use a lot of products at the base of my hair and then I make sure that I thoroughly comb it through and that really helps secure all of my hair. In terms of starting off the braid, I like to braid down four times before I add in my hair. That's what makes it knotless. If you go right in with your hair, you're going to have a knot for sure, okay? And when it comes to feeding the hair in, I like to pull it before I braid it down, I, I braid down twice to lock it in and I add in another piece. I like to gradually add small pieces so my braid doesn't start off jumbo, but it ends jumbo, if that makes sense. And if you have a blunt cut like me, you want to make sure that you are coating your ends with shine and jam, okay? I had some flyaways sticking out and it was blowing me, so make sure that you thoroughly coat your hair with the product. And then you just braid down as normal. You see how neat that braid is? Braid tightly to the scalp and you shouldn't have any lifting. Um, and just take your time, especially if you're a beginner. I did not start off braiding this neatly. You just, you know, get better over time. Once I have a good enough length, I like to bring the hair towards my face because it's easier to braid. And once I get about midway down, I start to... Add in small pieces of the 30 color so that brown can pop out like highlights. Me personally, I just wanted some highlights throughout the back. So all the braids on the top are going to be fully black. And then all the braids at the end, they, uh, they're they only brown at the end. You see that? How I allow the black to like feed out. So yeah, I'm just going to do that same process over and over again and let y'all listen to some music.
I don't really focus on the aftercare that I do when it comes to my braids. So in this video, I'm going to make sure that I do that. I'm going to lay my edges first with some Edge Booster Style Factor. I love this one. This is the this is my first time using the gray bottle, and I don't care what nobody else say. When it comes to Edge Booster specifically, the colors of the bottles matter. Like, I was in the store playing around, like, touching the different <laughs> colors so I could see if they felt different in texture. And this one was the thickest. They all say maximum hold for thick, coarse hair. But this one really meant it, okay? I will say spray it after with, like, some spritz or some holding spray because my edges did lift up a little bit. You know, it's hot as hell outside. So... I would do that, but all in all, it had a really, really good hold. I also wanted to make sure that I show y'all how I do my baby hairs because I don't curl my baby hairs with no heat tool, okay? I refuse. If you add enough product, you can get your baby hairs to look like this without using heat. When it comes to mousse, I like a lot of body because it's cheap, girl. Like, a lot of these mousses out here, they be expensive as hell. This bottle is $5. It's going to last you a really long time. And I feel like it's a lot in this bottle for price. Um, I'm not really too specific when it comes to mousse. Just make sure that you put it all over your braids. Like, this really helps lock your hair in. And I swear, your, your style will last way longer if you make sure that you do this step. And I like to put it throughout the braids as well, all the way to the ends, because it just helps them hold a little bit better to me. And I like to do this before I dip them, because it just adds product to the hair before you dip it i feel like it makes a difference i don't know i just like doing it and it feels good on the scalp like hello this is my favorite part it feels so good so now i'm gonna use this trust me extra hose spray um i had some spritz but i didn't know where i placed it but this felt really good on my scalp too i just felt like this adds shine and sheen this gives she just left the shop Okay, if you have flyaways, nine times out of ten, this is going to get rid of them. Like, once you put on your scarf and you just seal the whole deal. Yeah, let's get into the holding spray, okay? And, yep, I'm going to follow it up with my, with my scarf. This is very important to do. Ladies, hear me out. This is very important to do before you dip your ends because you're going to, allow that steam to hit your baby hairs and your baby hairs just going to lift right up because of the steam so make sure that you put on your scarf to lock everything in i boil my water in a sea kettle girl like i need my water to be piping hot okay and then i just dip my ends as normal it's nothing to it but to do it make sure that everything is fully saturated in the water that's why i take a little comb or an edge brush and make sure that my hair is like fully submerged in the water because if not they won't dip correctly so make sure you do that and then have a towel on deck make sure it's thick because this water be piping hot and you do not want to burn yourself so anyways this is the final product i love them i love how they lay super flat but they were also super full but they weren't bulky you know frequently asked questions it took me about eight hours to do this style i think in total i used three packs of black hair and i didn't even go through one pack of the 30 hair and if you take good care of your hair Go to sleep with a certain scarf and bonnet. This style should last you a good month and a half to two months. So, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. 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 Yeah.